Mrs. Kiani, and I will be teaching you the A-level next year. The A-level is divided into three sections. The first section, paper one, uh, has three sections to it. Section A is called Remembered Places, and you'll be exploring non-fiction texts based around the city of Paris. Section B, I teach, and I will be exploring Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. The final section is called Poetic Voices, and again, I teach it. I'll be looking at the poetry of Seamus Heaney. Paper two is called Exploring Conflict, and for this, you only look at two texts. The first is Great Gatsby, and your bridging project is also based on this text. The second is of the play, A Streetcar Named Desire, one of my favorite plays. The final part of the A-level is the non-examined unit. For this, I will be teaching Susan Hill's Strange Meeting, and then you choose the second text that you wish to compare it to. The second text must be non-fiction. Throughout your A-level, one of the key um, aspects of the course is the new terminology. Some of it you might already be familiar with, a lot of it will be new, new to you, and you'll have a lot of um, practice using this terminology during the course of your two years on this, with this A-level. So now the bridging project, which, as I said, is based on The Great Gatsby. So task two will assess your understanding of the novel and give you a chance to show off your creative writing skills. You will hand this in your first lesson and it will be graded. The first task is simply to read the novel. Um, you could also watch The Great Gatsby with starring Leonardo DiCaprio to give you a further insight into the text. Moving on to task two. So this is a recast task. You should spend between one to two hours on it, including planning time. You will only focus on a section of the text, chapter three, from There Was Music From My Neighbour's House For The Summer Nights to Signed by Jay Gatsby in a Majestic Hand. You need to recreate this section of the novel into your fictional narrative, crafted from the perspective of the servant who brings Nick the invitation. You must use first person. The details from the text will help you, but you will have to invent the character of the servant, their perspective and their voice. You should be aiming to write about two sides of A4 and planning is essential. You need to capture the language of the era. You need to think about the kind of language someone of that class at that time would use. The final task is to broaden your reading and to give you a head start. The titles in bold are the ones that will be taught during your A-level. The other ones will give you further insight into genres and into authors. So that's a quick overview of the course. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the new academic year.